Okay, today we are doing a comparison. I want to see how good the high res mode on GH6 is. So you can shoot up to 100 megapixel images on a GH6 in high res mode, but that 100 megapixel is composited. It's a, uh, you know, it's a computational photography. It doesn't equal a 100 megapixel sensor natively. So I don't expect it to have as much detail as a camera that shoots 100 megapixel uh, resolution images straight out of the camera in single shot. But I want kind of want to find out just roughly the range of the real resolution, real detail, amount of detail it can resolve with this high high res mode on GH6. Can it compare to A7R2? Can it compare to A7R3, 4, 5? Can it compare to uh, other high res cameras? So let's do this comparison. This is on DP Review website. You can do it at, at home yourself as well. Studio shot comparison, just search this and you you will find this. You can select a, a, all kind of uh, camera models you want. You can also choose JPEG RAW or ISO or uh, this is a different shoot mode. Uh, right now, let's take a look at the normal mode. First, the GH6 with a 25 megapixel sensor. Uh, this is 25 megapixel image JPEG, so it's already sharpened. We're going to compare. We're going to use JPEG because um, we want to see the highest quality, like uh, after enhancing and sharpening, uh, how much detail can you get out of the image? Uh, we don't have to compare the raw because if you compare the raw, you know, you have to process the raw anyway. So uh, you want to see the best it can get. So uh, first, uh, it's pretty obvious uh that the the 25 megapixel sensor doesn't resolve much in these tiny tiny little text here uh so we are comparing it to the a7r 560 megapixel sensor and uh, fujifilm xh xh2 is a aps apsc sensor 40 megapixel sensor and the sony a1 has 50 megapixel sensor i think all right so we have a Nice range of comparison, different models, different uh, megapixel pixel count. So I'm choosing text. You know, you can you can you can compare them uh, using very different you know, portraits or objects. But I'm choosing text because it's easy to tell whether or not there's there's enough detail for you for you for the audience, the viewer um, to read. You know, if it's legible, then it means it can resolve the detail. It, then it means it's good enough. So it's a very easy way to tell if it's uh, good en enough or not. Because otherwise, if you compare the straight line, which one is sharper, it's kind of difficult to tell. But with the text, you can tell because if it's sharp, if it's uh, detailed, then you can read it. All right. So let's uh, jump into the comparison. A7R5 obviously is going to be way better than, uh, than GH6. And uh, XH2 as well is uh, is great, but it's not A7R5 level. Does it have a yeah? A7R5 is the latest model. Um, A1 is right behind A7R5. Very nice contrast image from out of Sony cameras, JPEG. Very nice, clean. So let's take a look at the uh, high res mode. And here you go. This is a 100 megapixel, 100 megapixel file. As you can see, it has it's it's bigger than the A7R5 now. It's bigger than any of these because he has more pixels. But does it actually resolve as as much detail? So we can just scroll down and see the the tiny text here. See if we can read it. May keep off the rain from the north. May keep off the rain from the north. So here it's, uh, I would say this is easier to read than this. In the country where there are no houses, where in the country where there are no houses. So here you can see it's kind of, it's clearer. It's just marginally clearer than the 60 megapixel A7R5 here. Marginally better than that after the uh, 16 shots, 100 megapixel composition. And comparing to 
XH2. Its crop sensor is 40 megapixel. It's a uh, it's kind of a mushy here, down here, and the small text is not really legible. You can't really read this. So GH6 is clear winner in this scenario. Now compared to A1, A1 actually also resolved a lot of details. So 50 megapixel. Um, let's try to read it. May keep off the rain from the north. So here you can see the letters. They are kind of collapsing the falling apart, a little bit broken. Uh, it's not as clean as this. This is kind of soft. You can see this. It's soft, but it's the letters, the, they are kept together. They are in the correct shape. They're not falling apart. So you can read it pretty easily. As opposed to A1 here, um, Okay, it's a, it looks really sharp and contrasty, but the letters are falling apart. You don't really know, you know, the, the, the lines, they are twisted and uh, it's kind of difficult to read here. So yeah, I would say it's, it's probably around 60 megapixel effective resolution, uh, maybe even higher, like maybe 60, I don't know, 65, 70, maybe that's the actual effective megapixel resolution uh, you can get out of the high res mode on the GH6. So even though it's 100 megapixel, it's not actually 100 megapixel. You get 60, 70% of actual resolution of the, of, the, of the number suggests. So let's compare it to something even juicier. What about a 100 megapixel sensor? Let's go to the Fujifilm medium format camera, GFX100. And th I think it's gonna be an easy uh, victory for the Fujifilm here. Let's see. Yeah, as you, as you can see, 100 megapixel sensor with medium format is just much more superior to all the other cameras. Look at this detail. Even in the tiny, tiny little text, it is really clean. All the letters, details kept together. And a uh, GH6 here. Uh, you know, it's as I said, it's a little bit mushy, a little bit soft here. It's not as contrasty uh, as opposed to, you know, this camera, GFX 100. Everything is just clean, very clean down to the tiniest letters here. So yeah, it's definitely not 100 megapixel level. You can't really compare G6 to a medium format 100 megapixel sensor. Uh, even though it is a 100 pixel picture out of high res mode. All right, so another test I want to do is to compare GH6 to G9 and uh, Olympus camera, like uh, EM1 Mark III in this, uh, in this uh, case. I want to see how good are their high res mode, respectively. Like, uh, which one has the best high res mode? So first of all, let's see the normal modes. 25 megapixel GH6 is going to be the clear winner, easy winner here, because it has more pixels. So as you can see, comparing to G9, it's just a slightly larger, slightly slightly more detailed here. Uh, no surprise here. Let's try to read here. Uh, what is this? It's kind of hard to read. Even on the GH6, it's kind of hard to read. North word without something. But it's similar, I would say it's similar. It's uh, not a huge difference. Uh, G9 also resolves pretty pretty well. But you can see the tiny text, it's just a little bit cleaner on GH6. And compared to EM1 Mark III, I feel like the text is really falling, falling apart. I've done this test before I bought the GH6. I just wanted to see if the how good the Olympus image quality was. And I find myself, you know, I, I, I was not satisfied with the EM1 uh, Mark III's image quality by judging the text. And once again, I want to judge, I judge the text because it's uh, the one thing is easy for us to, to see if there's enough detail uh, for a human to read a text. It's a very natural thing to recognize a pattern. If you are able to recognize that pattern means uh, it's a good, en good enough image. So here I feel like the Olympus camera has a little bit too soft, uh, not as much detail, but uh, interestingly, 
if you look at a straight line like this, I think the uh, Olympus does a little bit better uh, in resolving this kind of detail. I don't know. Uh, it's weird, but uh, this is one of the reasons I, I picked the GH6 over a second-hand M1 Mark III. Yeah, you can see here the text is uh, not really solid. The lines are not really, uh, really not really confident here. As opposed to GH6, you can really tell, you can really read it. Okay, now let's jump into the high res mode. Pixel shift, pixel shift on the G9 as well, up to 80 megapixel. Pixel shift on the uh, M1 Mark III, also 80 megapixel, I think, maximum. Handheld 50 uh, for M1 Mark III. All right, let's take a look. G9 has pretty soft image. Out of the camera i don't know why it is so soft uh, it's unfortunate i don't know how if it's possible to fix it it's even softer in raw 800 iso gets a little bit better but yeah it's a little bit soft it's not contrasty like the gh6 and um let's scroll down here okay we can just see the detail a little bit better might ex uh, might be expected in determining our what bearing bearings. Mm, yeah, these these are a little bit harder to read here on the G9. On the GH6, uh, you don't really. It's not really difficult to read these lines, but here on the G9, you kind of have to squint a little bit. Now let's move on to the. M1 Mark III. Up here, it looks okay, but when you scroll down to the smaller text, it really is fall. It really falls apart. It's kind of smudgy, hazy. Uh, it's. Uh, I mean, you can still read it, but as you can see here, the letters are going up and down, up and down, zigzagging, uh, because the, it's not really sure about the line anymore. It's. Uh, Falling, falling into every direction. It's a little bit weird, a little bit weak. Altogether, we have not so much, yeah, not so much difficulty. Look at this as, this is as, we know it's as, but it's hard to tell here. Might be expected that also this word, if you compare it to the GH6, this is very clear, expected, it's not sharp sharp you know it's really tiny text but here it's kind of it could be anything on a em1 mark 3 so i am not really confident in the em1 mark 3's image quality in terms of text reading a lot of people will disagree with me but em1 mark 3 has better image quality uh, but just i like to judge it by seeing uh, recognizable patterns aka reading text you can see here the most part north and the south. If you compare this to this, is a there is a clear difference. The GH6 is much superior. It's very clear, uh, clear difference. This is so much easier to read than this. You see this? So yeah, GH6 compared to all the other high res cameras, including cameras that can shoot high res mode. Obviously, there are high-end cameras, full-frame cameras, or APS-C cameras that has high-res, uh, high-resolution sensor that can also shoot high-res, you know, pixel shift pictures that make hundreds, two hundred makes pixel pictures. I'm not gonna gonna compare to those because obviously, uh, those two hundred megapixel pictures are gonna beat GH6 easily. I just want to see. How good is the GH6 100 megapixel sense, uh, 100 megapixel picture? So yeah, all right, it's a pretty interesting exploration. I would say it has 60 to 70 percent of actual 100 megapixel um, resolution. So I would say 60 megapixel actual uh, effective uh, resolution. And so you have to take that into consideration. Is it worth it to shoot a 100 megapixel image but have only 60 megapixel resolution? 
So you, you're gonna uh, spend that extra 40% on the storage that doesn't really uh, contribute to the uh, image detail. Is it worth it? In some cases, yes. In some cases, maybe no. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, some interesting point to take away. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching.